Hey, and I thought I'd do another 10 sales in 10 minutes for you guys, so stay tuned. Let's see some items that sold and the profit we made. Welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and I'm a full-time reseller online. I buy and sell from boot sales, charity shops, um, wholesale, vintage clothing, all kinds of stuff and I try and flip it online for a profit. That's how I make a living and um, today's video is all about 10 sales in 10 minutes, trying to keep it snappy if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go through some recent sales, some stuff that's going out today. Let's see what we paid and what they've gone for. I'll start off with some big items. Um, we'll go with this one. Remember the super soaker on the video? It sold pretty quick. So thank you to everybody who actually advised me to buy this because I wouldn't have picked it up because it just doesn't look great, but it went. It sold for 25 pound and it cost me one pound. So that's not bad at all. That's a decent sale. Um, we also sold this um, little tiny screen um, portable DVD player, fully working. Um, it's only got a 3.6 inch screen, so it's pretty much smaller than most of our mobile phones. It cost me £3 at a jumble trail, but it went for 12 so not too bad. Um, £12. I also sold, remember the Halo... Um, sculpture figurine thing um I'm, i don't know if i've got time to get it out for you but you probably saw it on a recent video it was this thing that thing there can you see it's this big halo figure there you go just in case you didn't see the video where i showed this pickup at the boot sale um this is the halo uh, statue thing. Uh, really pleased that went. It went really quickly. Many of you guys said that it would probably go for about £80, which is not far off. It went for £89, so I'm okay with that. I'm pretty happy with that at an £18 spend. I've just got to make sure I wrap this properly. Um, it's going to require some decent packaging to get that safely to the customer. Uh, it cost me £18 at a boot sale and it sold for £90, so £89 it went for, nearly £90. So that's a really nice sale, really pleased that one went so quickly. Don't forget you've got to take all your fees off to get your proper profit. Um, I also sold this Disney, um, what do you call it, Varsity Jacket. Um, this was purchased at a recent uh, clothing sale, vintage clothing sale, and uh, it cost me about five or six pound based on weight, and it went for 65. So pretty happy with that one. 65 squids is not bad at all. I sold this Disney um, vintage torch, and it's got like faces on it this came as part of that big disney haul in fact I'll, sh I'll show you this one as well this sold as well as part of that haul the haul that i got from closet geek joe and um this one's like a pet you know like a tamagotchi but it's a disney one so that went for 12 pound and that went for 30 pound so two nice sales there from that haul i'm already in profit on that so that's good news Cost price on these is very hard to say because they got such a lot of stuff in that haul, but probably a pound each or two pound each maximum on those. How many of that I've done? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, now, you all know I'm a City fan and I hold my hands up. Congrats to Chelsea. They were the best team on the night on the Champions League final. So well done to Chelsea. We'll be back next year, I'm sure. We'll give it another go. But one bonus, as soon as the fi final whistle went, serious to God, Annabelle looked up to me and said, you've sold a Chelsea shirt. It's not an actual shirt. It's like a training shirt, but it's this one here. 
Uh, it's got number eight on the back. It's a youth size XL, fully tagged. And that went for 20 quid. Cost price on this was about four pounds, something like that. So every cloud, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd rather we'd have won the Champions League, but at least I got a sale out of it. I've also sold this um, new with tags um, jersey. I've forgotten the team. Oh, bollocks. I forgot the team. I know it's jazz, but I can't remember. Uh, anyway, it went for £25. Cost price was about £4 on the jersey. So how many is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more items to share with you. Another basketball jersey. This time it's the Denver Nuggets. I know the name, Denver Nuggets. It's champion, it's vintage. It went for £25. Cost price was uh, pretty... Pretty low. I can't remember if I'm honest to God with you. Um, less than five pound, that's for sure. One more item to share. I've got a cycling uh, vest, Limond it's got on it. It's just a very plain black cycling vest. Um, XL. Cost price on these are very, very low, probably around one pound if you remember all the cycling jerseys that I picked up. Um, so this went for 10 or 12 pound. So not too shabby. For, for a plain cycling jersey, that's all right. That's decent money. Um, and that's it, I think. So that's your 10 sales in, hopefully that's 10 minutes, roughly. Give or take a few seconds. Come on, don't hold me to exactly 10 minutes. Um, so I hope you found it interesting. Um, sales are still coming in. It's not amazing. Don't get me wrong, it's not amazing. Um, but sales are still dripping in. I don't know when things are going to get much better. I would like them to get a little bit better because cash flow is a little bit tight at the moment, definitely. But uh, that's it anyway for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you again on the next one. Take care.